Well, AJ was the oldest son of my oldest sons and his wife's five children. I heard that he loved doing a lot of things. My oldest son and his wife, they have a toxic marriage. They've been married for 15 years. It's been toxic every time they get together. They leave each other, then they get back together every time they get together, something bad happens. I couldn't have imagined that one of the bad things would happen was my grandson passing away. They're not at fault for um, him passing away. I'm just letting y'all know that's so I'm here to say this to you and I hope that you're listening you please stop going back to toxic relationships and marriages you just never know what might happen I just think had they stopped running back and forth to each other this would not have happened I just feel that way my oldest son and his wife had a toxic situation and um, it's a long story but the morning of his passing Three of my oldest grandkids were supposed to be at my house. It changed around and it wasn't. So, of course, I'm mad. I'm angry. I'm sad. As a Christian, I believe things happen in God's timing. But the secular side of me had been in my house. This was their real happened. And I am mad about it. I'm so upset. I'm mad with them. I'm so mad that they keep on bringing their children in this toxic environment. Why? Why keep bringing your children in toxic situations and toxic relationships where you know that you don't even love the person? What's the point of it? You will never know what's going to happen to you or your children. And again, my oldest son and his wife are not the cause of my oldest grandson's death. They're not. I'm going to say this. I believe had they stayed away from each other, just stayed away, leave each other alone, this would never have happened. Never. But my grandson would never have drowned. From November 2020 to October 2023, I had no contact with the other son. I'm done with this video. I hope you have a wonderful and fabulous day. Ciao, Bella. Ciao.